future has a lot of questions If you look, you can see them everywhere Use your mind to define energy and time It's more than just some numbers on a page Let's go, let's go Vectors, friction, motion Let's go, let's go It's a lot more fun with a little commotion Curiosity is the remedy Isn't this awesome? The light changes depending upon what I'm doing. It reacts to my movement. I've got to get Rusty and Sparky in here. They love to dance. Will you help me look for Rusty and Sparky? Oh, thank you. Thanks for helping me locate my robots. I don't know where they've gotten off to. are slower and longer than light waves, but in a lot of ways they're very similar. I used to think all about these ideas when I was just a kid playing with my light bright. Maybe your parents had one too. It was about this big, backlit, had these tiny... <gasps> Holy shnikes! Look at the size of that one! This is perfect! I can use this to explain to you a little about light. The electromagnetic spectrum is the term used by scientists to describe the entire range of light, all the way from radio waves up to gamma rays. Our eyes can only see a tiny portion of that spectrum. And when I say tiny, I mean less than 1%. And when I say less than 1%, I mean less than 1 100th one of 1%. One Your eyes can detect wavelengths from approximately 400 to 700 nanometers. When you look in the sky and see a rainbow, all the colors fall within that range of wavelengths. We call this the range of visible light. And look, these colored pegs. This here, this red peg has a wavelength of approximately 700 nanometers. Each color represents a different wavelength. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and my most favorite color, purple or violet, has the shortest wavelength of about 400 nanometers. Hey look, it's Roy G. Fibb. That's how you can remember the order of the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Next time you see a rainbow up in the sky, the order of the colors will be the same as the very first rainbow you ever saw. Pretty cool, huh? And guess what? Astronomers can even use color to determine if a star is moving towards us or away from us. Yeah, if a star appears red, it has a longer wavelength, which means it's moving away from us. And a star that appears blue has a shorter wavelength and is moving towards us. We call this the Doppler effect. Hey, I have an idea to make this thing even cooler.
Oh yeah, that's much better. You're welcome, Wonderworks. Hey, here's a question for you. Do you know what animal can see the widest range on the electromagnetic spectrum? If you don't know, go to ProfessorSco.com and click on In the Know to find out. Okay, we're gonna get back to our light and sound party.